everybody. Okay, we're still missing a few students. I'm going to start recording though. We're still missing Adam, Marcel, Mohammed, Samira. Okay, I'm going to go to the video so that we don't waste time. When they join, they can catch up. We're going back to the video. taking time to open just a minute all right here we are back again we will try to finish it again Miss, yes. Yeah, Hamid, you're still having your breakfast? Hamid, mm -hmm. you, had, you had a half an hour break. You should be finished your breakfast now. You already had almost half an done. hour break. That's almost done. Okay, I'm going to continue. Our family is the first school. Our family is the first school in which a child receives the basic values. Before you come to school, who are your teachers? Before you come to school, who are your teachers? Anybody? Miss your mom. Your mom and your dad and your brothers and your sisters, your older brother and sisters. They family. are your teachers. They are your first school. Your family is your first school. They teach you to speak. They teach you to speak. Who teaches you to speak? Your mom and your dad, your brothers and your mom. sisters, your aunts. Because when you're a baby, you listen. The first thing you do is listen. And then later on, you copy what they, what they say. So your parents teach you to be polite. Your parents teach you to be responsible, respectful before you even come to school. So they are your first school. Your family is your first school. Okay? They are just as important as the school that you come to every day. The morals and the values learned in the family are guiding a guiding force. Yani what you learn from your, your family, the morals, the values, the respect, the responsibility, the organization, the uh, how to be with people, the behavior with people, these all come from your family. Okay, and then we continue at school. Our family makes our character. What is character? What do you mean by character? Not a character in a story. We all have character. Miss? Yes, Elias. Miss? Yes, Elias. It's like uh, a character when uh, you have a personality. Well, personality is something that you're born with. Your personality is something that you're born with, but your character is something that you build up. So your personality and your character are different. They are two different things. You are born with your personality. You're born with your genes and your DNA and how you are. But your character can be built up. If you are not given good guidance, your character may not be good. If you are given the guidance that your family give you, then you should turn out to be a good person with a good character. So remember that personality is something you're born with. Character is something that you work on and you build up according to how you want to be in life, according to how you want people to see you, how you want people to see you. So your, your family makes your character, helps to build up your character. They yes, help to your build character up your is your behavior. Your character yes, your is character. your behavior behavior it's the way you think it's the way you behave in front of your family your community in front of people so your character is something that you can build up and hopefully you build it up to be a good person they lay the 
foundation of your thinking. This word foundation means a base. They, they put down, let's say that your character, I always say to students that your character is a big wall that you build throughout your life. The first few bricks of your wall is your foundation. The first few bricks of your wall is your foundation. Always think of your character as a big wall that you're going to build throughout your whole life, okay? And the first few bricks or stones that you put in the wall are the foundation. They are the beginning. They are the beginning. And your family help you with that by giving you uh, guidance of how to think, how to behave and how to build up your character. So they are the beginning of your character. Any questions so far? Any questions, Noor? Understanding everything, Noor? Yes, Noor? Hamid, Elias, Ali? Yes. Yeah, any questions? Okay, no. so your, your character is something that you build up throughout your life, but your family are the first ones to put the bricks in the wall of your character. Okay. With support, we can chase rainbows. What does that mean? We can run after rainbows. With family support, we can chase rainbows. What does that mean? Can we run after rainbows? Hamid, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. It means that you can see the end of the rainbow with family with family support, with courage. And what, and do, we, what do we say is at the end, the end of rainbows? Mess. Yes. The, I think it was the jackpot. I think it was like a pot with a lot of money. Well, in stories <laughs> it that's... is. In stories they say that at the end of every rainbow is a big pot of money or a treasure. But what does it really mean? It's not real. We can't run after rainbows, can we? What does it mean metaphorically? Yani, what do you think is the meaning of this sentence? With family support, all the family support you, they're always there for you. We can chase rainbows. What, does, what do you think that means, we can chase rainbows? Anybody has any idea? Elias, are you still with us? Yes, yes. What do you think? It's chasing it rainbows. It means like, uh, say, like the bright side to everything and like uh, be, uh, being happy uh, or with family on your side. So maybe happiness. We can find happiness. Anything, any other ideas? Abba, do, do you have any different ideas? And, and family by your side. Family by your side. Family by your side will be happy. Anything else? And, uh, and with family... And with family, everything is possible. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what it means. With family by your side, you can run after rainbows because whatever you want to do, you can do it. As Ilyas said, you can run after the impossible. Some things we find or we feel are impossible. We, we, we have dreams. We all have dreams that we're going to be doctors. We all have dreams that we're going to do wonderful things in our lives. And they, you can turn those dreams into reality, okay? With your family by your side, encouraging yeah. you, inspiring you, encouraging you, you can follow your dreams and you can do whatever you want. So run after the rainbows, catch the rainbows, and make your dreams come true. Whatever you want to do in life, you can do it, but it needs hard work. It needs hard work and it needs family support. It needs your family to encourage you all the way. So this is very nice, a nice sentence. With family support, we can chase rainbows. We can do the impossible. Yeah. Anyone want to say anything? Olivia, do you have anything that you want to say? Olivia? Do you, want to have, do you want to say anything? Is Olivia still there? 
Okay, let me continue. We are all fortunate to have family. We are lucky to have family. Can you imagine life without a family? It would be awful. Do you think all children have family? No. No, some don't have family. That's right. Let's, no. Let's see. Some are also children in Africa. Children in Africa. Some children in Africa may have lost their parents. Let's continue. Right. What about these children? What do you think? What do you think? About they're them? sad because they miss, have a family. miss, and they don't have a family. Right. They're sad because they don't yes, have a family. Without family. Right. Let's continue. At the same time, there are millions of children who do not have family. Keep that in mind. Hug your family yes. every day. Say thank you to your mom every day. Say thank you to your dad every day. Be nice to your brothers and sisters and remember that not all children have family by them, by their side. Family is an important unit of society. What's this word society? Now you're in grade five, in grade six, you should know this Miss, word society because you're going to see it a lot Miss in grade seven. Yes. I know. Uh, a society means people. Which like, uh, Everyone. Which, everyone. So, Hamid, do you want to add to that? You're raising your hand. Yes, it's popular, uh, popularization. Generation? Or different yeah, generations? It means, no, it means population. Population, means. population. But your society is all the people that live next to you and around you. You start with your family. Then you have your neighbors, then you have all the other people in your village. They are all your society. They're all your society. They all come from the same society, from the same place. So look, the family is one unit. Many families together make up a what? Many families together make up a society. Okay. They make up a community. They make up a society. We're going to see more about community in a minute. So a society is all the families together, all the neighbors together, all the people that live in your area or your society. Usually they have the same beliefs. They have the same beliefs and the same way of living. Any questions? Society and to be social to be social, what does it mean if you, you, you talk about social? What is social studies? What do you mean by social studies? Yes, we used to take uh, social studies in our old what school. Is social, Instead of, what is social studies, Hamid? Social is like history and it's, it's, it's something like that. Well, social mm -hmm. is, it means people and how they communicate with each other. So what social That's studies... What yeah. It means the whole entire world, damn it. Well, the whole world is made up of many societies. The whole world is made up of many societies, okay? You're, all the people in your, your society or all the people in your village where you're living. Let's continue. It holds great importance in social life, your social life, the way you live, the things you do is a part, makes up a part of society. And often in a society, people do the same, they, they live the same kind of lives, they do the same kind of things in, in a society. Healthy family bonding generates healthy society so if you live in a healthy family if you live in a family where your mom and your dad teach you how to be healthy and if all the families do that then we're going to have a healthy society because the society is made up as many made up of many families so if every family is healthy then you're going to have a healthy society healthy physically in your body and healthy mentally in your mind
what can we see here? Busy modern lifestyles. Everybody's busy these days. What is she doing? What is this lady doing? What's she doing? Who's chatting? This is it's okay, Samira. It's okay. Uh, no, that's what is she doing? She's very busy. She's very busy. What is she doing? Look, she's cooking. She's it's the... cooking and cooking and... Yeah? Did somebody want to say something there? Was that you, Marcel? Yes, yeah. Wow. Yes, it was. What she's 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 drinking and reading books and uh, playing yes. the gym and right. cooking and so she's doing two, she's doing too many things at one time. And today, today our lifestyle is like this. Today our lifestyle allows us to do many things at the same time. When you are doing your homework, um, sometimes you jump to doing something else, don't you? You go into the kitchen, you help your mom, then you go back to your house, your your, your homework. Um, you shouldn't. You should be focused on one thing. But this is our busy lifestyle. Our busy lifestyles today, today in society, we are trying to do too many things all at one time. And we can see she's exercising, she's cooking. Miss, she's Miss, yeah? Miss, Miss, um, is she an octopus or a human? She is like an octopus, exactly. And actually, we are all like octopuses today because we are all trying to do so many things at one time. Cooking, cleaning, exercising, eating, drinking, working on the laptop. We try to do so many things at one time. And sometimes it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> We are changing cultural values. Our culture, what, what do we mean by culture? We mean by culture, our beliefs and the way we think. But we are, because of the internet, because we know about other people in the world, we are changing our ideas. Um, we are sometimes taking ideas from other countries and using them as our own ideas. A long time ago, did you know about Halloween? Did you know anything? Did people in Lebanon know about Halloween? When I first came to Lebanon, nobody celebrated Halloween. Nobody, nobody knew anything about Halloween. Then later on, because of the internet and because we were able to know more about other countries, we started to know what Halloween was. So we are changing our ideas. We are taking some ideas from other countries. If we think they are fun, if we like the ideas, we are taking them and changing our culture a little bit um, because of the internet, because of the, the internet. Modern technology, look what we are doing today. We are online. Did you think before February last year that we would be having lessons on the on the computer online? Did you ever think that? No. 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 And because of Corona, so many people in the world are working from home now. And probably when Corona has disappeared, probably people will continue to work from home. We won't. We'll go back to school. But but miss, but my dad can't work at home miss, because he work in customs. Yes, yeah, some not everybody can. Not everybody can. But if you work in offices, definitely you can work from home. So actually, technology, the computer, the telephone, it's all changing. Satellite, it's all changing our way of life. It's all changing our way of life. Do you think that it's changing our our way of life for good, bad, or a bit of both? Miss, I think it's changing our life for good. For good? Yeah. You, so you think it's good things? Time, yes, because, it's because you can sleep. Sometimes it's bad and sometimes it's good. Like take for, for today, for instance. We are working online today, okay? Um, it's good because we're able to have our lesson and we're able to see each other, we're able to talk to each other. But what do you think is a bad thing about that? Nothing. Uh, I don't. One by one. Raise your hands if you want to answer. 
What do you think is a bad thing about that? If we're online every day, what do you think, Marcel? Miss, miss our eyes. Our eyes. So we have problems with our eyes. What else? Miss and, and our backs. Miss, we can cheat. Our backs, yes. We can oh, cheat, yeah. right? We can cheat. Marcel, do you want to add anything to that? Miss, can I? Anything else which is bad for us being online? Miss, um, uh, miss, um, the internet. Raise your hand if you want to answer, please. Who's raising hand? Hamid, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, here you're raising your hand. Miss, um, miss. the internet and the electricity. The internet and the electricity is giving us a hard time, right? Okay. Only in Lebanon. We want to friends. Ali, what did you say? And we don't have social friends. Yeah, exactly. It's not any good for our communication. You are right, Ali. This is not any good for our communication because it is much better for us to be in the classroom to be able to see each other and we yeah. interact better in the classroom. Now, sometimes students who um, participate a lot in the classroom, some students are not participating so much online. So yes, Ali, you are right. Communication, this is so important. And actually technology is not really any good for our communication. Um, so being in the classroom is much better. So we have advantages of technology and we have disadvantages of technology. What about all the children in the world who right now cannot go to school because of Corona, they do not have money to buy a device. They don't have a laptop. Some of them do not even have electricity. So what's going to happen to them in future? What's going to happen to them in future, Muhammad? They're going to... Oh, great. They will die. They will uh, get a bad... Uh... They will be ignorant. They will be ignorant. Exactly, Ali. They yeah. will be ignorant. You remember this word, ignorant? It means that they will not have an education. So if you don't have an education, you're not going to have a future. And these are the children of the world that are going to be begging. They're going to be begging in the streets. And they will miss him and he will fail. He won't succeed. He will fail. He won't succeed unless by some chance he, he will be very I'll lucky. Unless by I'll some chance. Miss? Oh. So right. Let's be honest, who, are, who is learning anything uh, in uh, Zoom? Like, no one is learning anything. No one is learning anything? You all feel like that? Really? You don't feel? Yes. Yes. You're I mean, not learning anything as I mean, we are talking today? Why are families not as close as before? Why do they say that? Yeah. You can't go out and uh, like talk to others and have good communication and uh, and know others and and instead you go you stay at home and play with with the iPad you know. But do you understand what it means? Families used to play games together. They used to sit together. Yes. They used to. My talk. mom used to tell me she used to play with others outside. That's right, but we're not, families are not doing that as much now because of technology. You may see a family, everyone sitting on their telephone, talking to somebody on their telephone, but they are not talking to each other. So technology is doing something which is not great for families, okay? We should try to halt this trend. We should try to stop using technology as much and try to be closer to our, our families. Actually, being at home during Corona has made us closer to our families because you have spent a lot more time with your family. Isn't that right? Do you, during, the, Miss, yes. during Corona, did you find time to play with your families? Did you have, did you play games with them? Did you do, did you do other things? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's right. So Corona yes. actually has made families closer, which is something good. As it has more negative than, than positive outcomes, the technology has more negative than positive. We should 
understand the importance of family because... <laughs> Family, where life, family is where life begins. Your life begins with your family. And love never ends. So you begin your life with your family and your love together never ends. See how important the family is. And there we can see family where life begins and love never ends so nice so we understand the importance of family and so look i'm going to show you another another video this time we have to understand what community is what is a community what is a community my voice is not clear my voice is not clear it must be the internet or maybe from you. Can you all hear me? Yes, yeah? yes I can hear right. you. Okay. Yes, I want to type the answer in the chat, but they uh, miss what I can't. Why? Ah, okay. Don't go out now because the time is almost over. Don't rejoin. Okay, just listen. Um, we talked about family. Family is one unit. So many families make up a community. What is a community? Hamid, what's a community? A community is one thing that contains many Can I use one show? Right. Oh, miss. A, is big, a, a community is, is, one, is made up of lots of people, you said, Hamid. A community yes, is made up of lots of people. Okay, Muhammad, what did you want to say? Yes, I think that how with each other, the family. Family one? Oh, I hear that you say how they get communicated with each other. No, family. I'm asking what is a community? Hamid is saying a community is made up of a lot of people. Maziad. Yeah. Maziad. Maziad. Connection of society. Connection of society. So the co community is a connection of the society. Okay. You have your family. Who lives next to you? Another family. Who ne lives next to them? Another family. So many families make up your community. Your neighbors. Your neighbors all make up your community. And your community is all part of your society. Okay. Um, let me just check the time. We've only got one minute, so I don't have time to show the video. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you a video on community, the different kinds of community, because you live in a community and people in the city live in a community, which is different to your community. OK, so tomorrow we're going to look at, at a video about community before we can start unit one. Right. And then once we've seen the videos that we've seen, the, the one on family today, once we've seen the video on community, we are going to continue and start our unit.